Finally, the country ball non-balls have arrived. We got Kazakhstan ball, Triangapore, and Nepal. Pretty sure Nepal doesn't even have a shape in their name. They're just Nepal. Or I think they might be called Nepal Rar. I've obviously designed like over two dozen country balls at this point. This has to be probably my favorite drop ever though. Like I just feel like each one turned out so cool. As always, use that link in the description down below to head over to makeship.com to reserve yours today. You already know how this goes. I will never sell these again. There's like so many past campaigns that I can no longer bring back no matter how much people beg me I cannot do it I'm super curious to find out out of these three which ones you guys like the most can you survive five nights at Nepal's and we've got some pretty terrifying monsters coming after you I feel like Nepal is definitely the scariest though the Mamluks country ball doesn't even have teeth so I don't know what he's gonna do so to explain some of the non-ball country balls uh, this one is pretty simple all these places simply have an unconventional flag like it's not a rectangle the reason Nepal is not a ball is because they don't have a regular world flag. I can't even look at the regular Nepal flag without imagining the country ball version with all the teeth. That same philosophy follows other flags with non-conventional shapes. Then there's the historical Mamluk flag, which I only really see an Among Us character when I look at this. Obviously, extremely sus. Be me, Singapore. Every morning I wake up in my government-provided housing. After wake up, I immediately commute to work. In three years, I can buy my own car. And in 98 years, I will finally pay all the vehicle taxes. Do all this today, says China. Um, okay, no break until you're done. Um, what the freak? Wait, but seriously, no break? Of course no break. What are you, Malaysian? Okay. Ten hours later, this is worse than the GCE A-level exam. Boss, uh, I am done. Good. You're fired. What? Why? Your salary is too high. Profit cannot. I hire fellow mainlander who can salary less. Never work with mainlanders anymore after that. Cannot be worse today. <laughs> Attention, MRT is have three hour delay. By the way, frick you. <laughs> That's it, let's protest. No, no more, more delays. delays. You are under arrest for unauthorized assembly. Surrender or get punched. You're found guilty of protesting in non-designated area, deflaming SMRT Corporation, and 13 counts of littering. Your sentence is to community service while being canned at the same time. Uh, this is the worst. This is even worse than NS. NS is the National Service or Military Conscription in Singapore. Hey, uh, sorry, but you're being evicted. What? Uh, why? Something about filling some sort of quota. Hello, Singapore. Oh, hello, Indonesia. Here to hide your assets in our bank again? Yes, as always, you're a nice, rich, and clean country, Singapore. I have democracy, but can only, um... Anyways, you must be so happy, Singapore. Yes. <laughs> happy. <laughs> Man, talk about least depressed person from Singapore. On top of all that, uh, he can't even enjoy a little stick of gum either. Chewing gum in Singapore has been illegal since 1992. But in terms of explaining why the country is shaped like this, this one might be the most complicated of all. As you can see, the Singapore flag is a normal rectangle, so they don't have the same justification as Nepal. Also, the only other triangle known in the country ball universe, Bermuda, that makes sense because of the Bermuda triangle. You know, the famous legend about things getting lost in the Bermuda Triangle. The general consensus is the Singaporean, Malaysian, and Indonesian Growth Triangle, which is made up of these three countries in this part of the world. Singapore is kind of the head of the triangle, which is why I guess they got the shape. But even though the country itself might be really rich, um, at what cost for the citizens? Mongol, I want to be with you. Kazakh, me too, responds Mongolia. Ha, Kazakhstan, no. Mongol, no. Though they are so close, they are at the same time so far away. Kazakhstan cannot into touch of Mongolia. It actually took me a scarily long time to realize that. On most world maps, it kind of looks like they do already touch. It's not until you really zoom in you realize, oh no they don't. In fact, they're only about 50 kilometers away from each other. Both China and Russia do kind of keep this love from actually happening. So here be some horsies. Most paranoid creature these steps have to offer, they scared silly of their own shadow. Their worst nightmare is a predator on their back. Meanwhile, a predator's worst nightmare is a horse hoof crushing its skull. They oof you instantly by running you over, and they're capable of biting your face off. And I think I saw one eat a bird right out of the air. So anyways, still think it's a good idea to ride one? Meanwhile, Mongolia responding in the only way they know how. And it turns out this country ball is probably the best at taming them. They can tame and ride them so good, they can even use a bow and arrow at the same time. It's actually very funny to see the similarities between Kazakhstan and Mongolia. Only difference is, Mongolia is no 
known for riding horses, Kazakhstan is known for eating them. Happy adventure, exploring the world. There is Cliff on way. Oh no, there is Cliff. Yeah, I told you, as these Central Asian balls come to a cliff. Kazakh to the rescue. I love how they say their own name, like as if they're a Pokemon. Am bridge. Oh, that's perfect. Although I feel like the balls could have also formed a bridge, just maybe a less stable one. So finally, as for Kazakhstan's shape, the reason they're technically known as a brick, not a rectangle, by the way. Well, one of the reasons is because they cannot into bricks. Bricks, as I've mentioned many times before, is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. It's like an economic alliance. They've actually been seeking to join this little team for quite some time now. And funny enough, the meme still lives on since bricks did expand, but didn't include Kazakhstan. As of 2024, it'll be Argentina, Ethiopia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Iran, but yeah, still no Kazakh. It also would make sense for Kazakhstan to join BRICS because they could be the K in the word BRICS. It makes too much sense for them to not join, also just because of their geographical location to China and Russia, and yet here we still are, Kazakhstan cannot into BRICS. There's actually other reasons why Kazakhstan is a BRIC, but that's just one of them. You is was into Axis. Oh no, cries Germany, I pay monies. You of was into Axis. Oh no, cries Italy, I pay pizza. You is was into Axis. Oh no, cries Japan, I give anime. Meanwhile, them looking at Romania, Thailand, and Hungary. Um, we of into Axis too. Yeah, I don't really care. Anyways, I'm going to Afghanistan. Uh, bye, they reply. I mean, the list is really separated between major Axis members and other Axis states. And that's partly because it's not super black and white for some of these places. A little bit more complicated. Anyway, sometimes Japan ball is not a country ball, more a country cat. And that is, I mean, obviously due to the anime. Probably the most forgotten Axis member of them all is Austria though, right? Since we're already solving our misunderstanding, no, I still hate all of you. Whatever, get out, says Indonesia. Since we've already solved our misunderstanding, I want to build a club. I am into it now, says Poland using their eye curvoir. Hello, I'm Salzburg. Aw, cute. Meanwhile, more begin to join. <laughs> Even more begin to join. Uh, you know our room is not that big, right? Membership limit, membership limit. I think it's too late for that. Hello, friends. I I would be glad to be able to join your club too. Big old Canada and Greenland dropping in. <laughs> I guess these country balls decided to form a red and white only club. Unfortunately, that club got a little bit out of hand. And that is because there are way too many flags out there with only red and white on them. This would cause the oofing of uh, several of the balls. I love how Singapore is almost always angry in every comic I read, which is why I obviously had to make them angry here too. Probably a good thing they didn't join. They would have popped everyone. Ooh, look, a nice beach day. Of course, Greece out here looking for money. People either in the sand or enjoying the nice waves. <gasps> What's that? Char I saw a shark! Ah! Lone shark? Oh wait, that's that's just a very confused Nepal. Yeah, they live kind of a sad life in the country ball universe. Whether they're seen as a scary shark or just a scary monster that can't communicate because he can usually only say rar. Um, he's really misunderstood. Welcome to the Poland coaster. Sorry, Palau, but you're too short to ride. Please come back when you're taller. Into celebration, Americas. You can ride. Just get rid of your drink. No drink. Well, screw this then. Oh, Halloween's Nepal. Uh, I don't know in your height. I mean. I guess they're kind of tall enough to ride. <laughs> what? No, Nepal, just just tell me your height. Oh. Meanwhile, whatever their flag aspect ratio is, <sighs> whatever, just come on in. <laughs> so some flag aspect ratios are very simple. For instance, Switzerland, it's literally one by one. A lot of other countries have simple aspect ratios like two by three. Meanwhile, there's Nepal with their non-rectangular shape that has to use this as their technical aspect ratio. I mean, as long as it gets the job done to ride, though, I guess that's all that matters. Meanwhile, cut to World War One. This place is mine! You can do it, Italy! I believe in you, says France. Basically battling happening between Italy and Austria-Hungary. Wait, do the looking! Psh! I like how Austria-Hungary can't even see because of their uh, icons. What the? Not knowing, responds Italy. It's wet and sticky. Canals, yes. Republica, C. Double letters, forbidden C. It's actually kind of horrifying. This piece just fell off of Austria-Hungary. But I think Italy has an idea for what to do with them. Meanwhile, their dad is a little bit dazed without their former territory. Oh, what a perfect place to put Venice squid. We all know how much Japan loves squids or octopuses. Blub, blub. I love how wholesome the other side of the aquarium is. Just Germany with their son Bavaria ball. Meanwhile, this other side, not so much. One of the most famous non-ball country balls out there is Venice. And at this time during World War I, they were under Austria-Hungary. But Venice is a place that has existed for quite some time now.
out even as their own empire but yeah their reasoning for being a squid or octopus is one of the more obvious ones they have one of the most if not the most unique flags in history although this does make it extremely hard to fly at least in my back wall back there i've tried several times to get a venice flag i don't know how to put it up you kind of need the wind because of the strips down here or the squid legs i love how sometimes it just takes one incredible comic to completely change the way we put them in the country ball universe um kazakhstan how do you into moving if you're a brick i showings you uzbek uzbek tajik tajik dirk, dirk. lifting says kazakhstan onward oh they have literally become car of course that actually makes so much sense now, now this is kind of a geographical joke as well because he did call upon all of these central asian nations obviously kazakhstan is the biggest and all these other four sit below kazakhstan so they do kind of act as wheels i don't think i'll ever be able to look at this same place again without thinking of a weirdly shaped car oh look empires. Here's the Roman Empire from 753 BCE to 476 CE. Here's the Mongol Empire, 1206 to 1368. Then there's the Central African Empire, which lasted 1976 to 1979. Wasn't exactly as great as the other empires we just saw, but, uh, I mean, technically an empire. Funny enough, they are now just known as Car, Central African Republic, but kind of like the car we just saw with Kazakhstan. I feel like even if it isn't very long, everyone's got to at least try to name themselves an empire and see what they can do. Why not give it a shot? Another country ball shape that I didn't get to cover is Chile worm. Uh, they're a worm because of their geography. They are the longest, thinnest country on earth. So of course, in the country ball universe, they have to be like a snake. I can't sell this guy anymore because he's from the last drop. But if you want Kazakhstan brick, Triangapore, or Nepal, like I said in the very beginning, head over to makeship.com to reserve yours today. I'm literally so excited to finally have the non-ball country balls. And big thanks to the patrons. Drew, I'm your dad back with the milk. Look outside. John Denver. Luxembourg lover. I can't sleep without Drew. Voice. Aaron F. Amateur Archaeology. Fat Carmel Norwal. S. Frederick Tiblin. Good ol' Ryan. Inquisitor Jack Zarius. Jack Trayton's annoying friend. Lemino is ten. best Robert Ryan. E. The Pie. The Sebby, if you hear this, the I love you. And why am I doing this?